I am a little prejudiced against coffee. I think it's a horrible drug. The way we are now, we're shooting ourselves up with coffee every couple of hours to keep ourselves going is terribly unhealthy. I do remember when I sort of really fell in love with tea. That was at university. We used to sit around uh, the kitchen table on a Sunday, you know, with the newspapers and a huge big teapot. There is a reasonably large element of spirituality in tea. Quite surprising. It's that ability to come in out of the craziness that is London into this much calmer place where you can take that time to have a cup of tea and relax. Ooh. You take the bag, put it in, boil the water, get it right on the boil and stir gently with your spoon to get the right colour and you know the right colour and you can whip that bag out and you take your milk and you pour your milk and you know the right colour. For the multitude of British tea drinkers, that's the ritual and you do it by sight. One Saturday, a wise Chinese man came in. He'd been there before and we chatted to him a little bit and he just turned up and it had been a bit of a week to be honest. And he introduced us to Gong Fu Tea. Kung Fu Tea. It's a whole ceremony where you're heating the kettle. You sort of put it into the gaiwan, flash boil it, get rid of the first boil, and you do seven boils off a lot of leaf, but they're all quick brews. And then it goes into the jug, and then you get a little shot, and then you do the next one, and the next one. And we passed about four hours with this guy. And... <sighs> the history of tea is the history of the world. Because of the British Empire and its trading relationships with India and China and going out to the West Indies and basically the whole globe, there's 500 years worth of world history which essentially is the history of tea. My worst cup of tea I've ever had. I was sitting with the vicar, new waitress. I gave her my cup with my bag in it because I finished my tea and asked her to make me another one and she was making him a fresh one. And um, I came back and it was very milky and I was like, oh, it's okay. It's going to get strong, and I started drinking, and I was like, she's just reused the tea bag. <laughs> so I spoke to her, and she said, oh, I thought you'd left it in because you wanted to reuse it. But it was just this awful mistake, and I was just drinking this warm milk going, I can't do anything about it because I'm sat here having this conversation. I don't think British people experiment enough with tea. I think there are so many different varieties around there. That is what people should do. Drink more tea. Drink gallons of it and keep going.